Remember the show on TV called Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? I think it was a game show. I, it's been a few years. I watched it for a while. I think it was a game show. Anyway, everybody wants to be a millionaire. Typically, most people don't want to do the work that it takes to be a millionaire. You know, not everyone has in them what it takes to be a millionaire. If you want to be, you have to be able to think and act like one. The great thing is, is we can, we can find out what it takes to be a millionaire. We can watch them. We can learn from them. We can do the same things that it, that it takes them to be a millionaire. And we probably quickly find out maybe we don't have in it, in us what it takes to become a millionaire. You have to be able to think and act like a millionaire. You've got to be committed. You have to have the commitment to do what it is, to do whatever it's going to take to get you there. Now, legally, morally, ethically, yes. You've got to have determination to stick with it every single day, all day long, to keep at it, to keep pounding it out. You need to have the confidence that you can do it. Confidence in yourself. You need to walk around as a confident person. Have you ever seen anybody who walks into a room and you can just tell that they're really confident in who they are and the abilities they have and what they're going to achieve and people are drawn to them because of the confidence that they have in themselves. That's what it's like to be a millionaire. So, you know, maybe you say, well, Mark, millionaire, that's, I don't want to be a millionaire, but you know, I'd like to be a half a millionaire maybe. Okay, it takes the same mindset. It takes these same things. So what's the first thing? I teach about it in my book, The Success Grower. Go to Amazon and get it. You can get the audio book now. The audio book is done. It was released last month. The audio book of the, the Success Grower. My name, Mark Schinnerer. The first thing that I teach in the book and that the first element really is talking about vision and setting this vision of what you want to achieve. A millionaire knows what, they're, what they want to achieve. They have a vision of that end result, a vision of the life that they want to live, a vision of the business they want to build. And then they set long-term goals to get it. So it takes vision for what you want and long-term goals to get there. I teach those in my book, The Success Grower. The second thing that millionaires do is they plan. First of all, they have a plan. So they have a vision. They set long-term goals with the plan to achieve them, but they also have a plan for the challenges that come up, that will come up. And in my book, The Success Grower, I talk about challenges that come up in life. The storm, I call them storms. Storms come up in life. Many of them we don't even expect. And we have to learn to walk through them and get through them. But you know, the great thing is you will come out the other side. You may be a different person. You may be all beat up. But millionaires plan for those storms. They plan for the challenges that will come up in their life. And they have a plan to walk through them and get through them and have the mindset to get through it. Third thing that you can learn from millionaires is they accept responsibility. If somebody has a complaint, they resolve it quickly. If somebody accuses them of something and it's true, they accept the responsibility and they move on and they fix it and they move on. But the other great thing about responsibility is when opportunities are presented to them, they take the responsibility to pursue them. So responsibility has a lot of factors to it. The fourth thing that you can learn from a millionaire, to be a millionaire, is they pursue their own personal growth. You can't achieve the great things you want tomorrow if you're gonna stay the person you are today. You have to continue to grow. When I plant my garden out here, if I plant corn, I put that corn seed in the ground, it'll grow, the stock will grow. But it does not stay the same as the seed and it does not stay the same as it grows in order to produce the ears of corn. It changes, it, because it becomes something different. It goes through a process of its own personal growth in order to produce. Millionaires do the same thing. They pursue their own personal growth so that they can be more successful in the end. The fifth thing that you can learn from millionaires, they take risks. A lot of them calculated risks. Some of them are big risks, but they use their experience to guide them through it. They know 
with the resources and the skills and the knowledge they have what's gonna be what's gonna work and maybe what doesn't because of the experience that they've had but they do take risks if you don't ever take a risk in your life you'll never have anything more than you have today the sixth thing you can learn from millionaires they stay focused they don't chase shiny objects they don't have the the squirrel syndrome oh look squirrel they don't do that they stay focused on where they're going if some new shiny thing pops up in their path they don't go chase it because they know where they're going they have a vision and a long-term plan to get there they know where they're going life will throw shiny objects in your way to see how committed you are to achieving your goals or are you just out for the shiny object and then they'll throw you more shiny objects to keep you confused you have to stay focused on your vision and your long-term goals that's the only way don't chase shiny objects the seventh thing that you can learn from millionaires avoid being extravagant millionaires don't go out and you know as soon as they they sign a big deal and they get some money in the bank they go buy a new house or they go buy a fancy car or take a big vacation they don't do that now you may see them when they do that but that's because they've reached their goal they've reached the point in their life where they can do that but while you're growing and building towards being a millionaire and having this millionaire mindset they don't go out and spend all their money they try and live on less than what they make most of us could just learn that lesson so millionaires avoid being extravagant and having all kinds of stuff because that's what we think it's like to be a millionaire you know there are so many quiet millionaires who you would think would be really really poor or just middle of the class but they're really millionaires because they they're not extravagant about it that's a millionaire mindset so to be a millionaire to be a half a millionaire you need to think and act like one it's a mindset it's a mindset that will determine your personal growth it's a mindset that will determine determine your success and in that mindset you have to be determined to grow personally you have to be determined that you're gonna succeed I would suggest you go get my book the success grower you know if you can't afford to spend what 15 bucks if you can't afford to spend $15 on your future that's sad that's really sad so you can learn most all of this in my I didn't pull it from my book but most all of this is what you'll learn in my book and the eight elements to achieve your goals so go get the book the success grower you can get the audio book and listen to it when you're working out or driving or whatever so if you want to be a millionaire you need to develop the mindset of a millionaire and look at the keys that millionaires leave behind on how to act so you too can be a millionaire I'm Mark Schinner with your Monday mentor I hope you have a great week I'll be back and talk to you tomorrow